Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, we got a free city to take and then we can go to war with Persia. I might not even bother taking both of them. It's just not necessary. We'll see. We will definitely take this one because we kind of need it in order to reach the Persian capital. And before we go to war with him... Uh, hold on. What's going on? Oh yeah, he wants to extend the creation of friendship. I'm actually not interested anymore. Anyway, before we go to war with him, it's probably a good idea to build city walls in Pokrovka. Ignore this request. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not even sure if ancient walls are going to be enough, but we need at least ancient walls. Maybe more, we'll see. Anyway, armory would take 15 turns. That's a little bit too much, I think. Field cannon, 14 turns. Alright, let's get a field cannon. And in our capital... We don't need medieval walls in here. I wouldn't mind a neighborhood. What's the best one we can get? Plus 6. Alright, let's get that then and we'll switch to military production once it's done. As for envoys, we can actually get allied with Carthage, so that's what we're going to do. At least now we don't have to worry about Carthage attacking us. What's the Carthage's bonus? I think that's something to do with... Oh no. Land combat units are 20% cheaper to purchase with gold for each encampment district building in that city. That is actually really nice. Okay, so how much would it cost us to buy units now? Let's see, 1000 for a bombard. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's 600 gold cheaper to buy a bombard. That is actually a pretty crazy difference. Anyway, back to the city. I'm not going to move into encampments bombardment range. The city is about to be ours anyway. In fact, I think it's already ours, literally right now. Yep, we can use this for a promotion. There we go, the city is ours. We could liberate it to Persia, but that's a little bit pointless when we are about to go to war with Persia. <laughs> that would be a very silly thing to do. So, what should we get here? First, repair the granary and then probably build walls. Yep, I mean, definitely build walls. Alright then, so we got a field cannon, now we can merge it. This guy is level 6. Okay then. Here you go. We still need a few more, but that's fine. One step at a time. What will our spy do? Siphon funds. Now Alexander probably won't like that too much. We can also increase our diplomatic visibility. Let's do that. I don't want to piss him off just yet. Now, we will be the target of an emergency once we declare war on Cyrus, because we had a level 2 alliance with him. But I'm prepared for that. Or at least I will be prepared for that. So, Argos. A campus? 11 turns? Or just continue military production. Or we can grab a market. Yeah, more gold is never a bad thing. We can always use it to just buy units. Water meal. Yes, we did take Petra in Corinth, but it hardly matters at this point, to be honest. Still, it's nice that we have it. Alright, let's wait for a few more units, shall we? I'm not in a huge rush. How many tanks does Persia have anyway? Let's see. Oh, he's actually behind us. He has how many? 30 something. Yeah, I can't see because it's clipped. He has less than 37. We got 37. Alright. Well, we are about to finish sanitation. Oh yeah, another promotion. Which unit was that? Missed it. 
Well, we'll grab it on the next turn. It's fine. What's happening? Enemy spy killed. Nice. He was trying to steal our tech. In all works on natural history, we got to natural history. Constantly find details so this will reveal antiquity sites. How many do we have? We got quite a few. Wait, no, that's the only one, really. Apparently so. No, it's not. It just doesn't jump to other sites when I click the notification. But we got quite a few around here. We got five just in this area and sixth one in the range of our capital. Well, yeah, we will take care of that. But first, let's have a look. Housing is a problem in here. I also wouldn't mind an industrial zone. We could get plus two on this tile down here. Aerodrome? We don't need an aerodrome. Maybe not in this particular city. We can grab a water park. Let's just grab a neighborhood first. That's going to be plus five. And the next stop, we got Sparta. A zoo wouldn't hurt. But that's 16 turns. That's a lot of turns. Let's grab a builder first. We can still use one in this general area. And I will send some more envoys to Carthage, just to keep that city on our side. There's the promotion on Musket Man. We'll take Battle Cry. So, trade route, that should be a safe one, preferably. So, not with Persia. I think I'll just trade with Gorgo. It's not like she will declare war on us. At least that's fairly unlikely. She might join an emergency. Once we declare war on our former allies, that's a possibility. But she's way behind in tech. All we really need is a unit or two to protect Sparta and Olondi. Not to mention we can just buy a unit instantly, if needed. We have a lot of money. So, here's another field cannon. Pretty sure we still need more. Yeah, we need at least four more field cannons. Also bombards. Alright, let's get a bombard. That's six turns. These preparations will take a little bit of time. It's probably not entirely necessary, but I like to be prepared. And I want to wait for walls, you know. What do you want? I don't really care. Oh, I satisfied her agenda. All right. She likes us, apparently. And Next up, chemistry. That will unlock AT crew. And we entered a new era. So that's going to be a golden age. What do we want here? Let's have a look. Cities with governors receive plus 50% tourism from World Wonders. We can get two arms. That's always a possibility. Not sure if I really care about my warmonger penalties at this stage of the game. But it's a possibility. Plus 10% production towards industrial era and later wonders. Campus district's science adjacency bonus provides production as well. That's not bad. Your traders cannot be plundered. International trade routes provide plus 3 gold per specialty district in the foreign city. That one is pretty nice. We can always use more gold. If only to just straight up buy units. Yeah, I think I'll go for this one to get the gold. And it will be nice having trade routes in beyond to being plundered. I like that one, so sure. Now we don't have to worry about trade routes being plundered at all. So let's get some experience of these guys. Might as well do it, right? We could also steal the worker. Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's do that. Can we finish off the musket man with something ranged? Uh, not necessarily. Okay then. We can get some more experience of this encampment. Because why not? We could just take this city after all while we wait for more units. Because we still need more units for courts and armies. So are. 15 out of 21 population. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Oh yeah, observation ballon. 
that is useful. We should get at least one observation balloon for sure. 7 out of 10 housing. Okay. Oh yeah, workshop, right. That one is obvious. So everything here will take a very long time. I'm thinking we should just send the builder in this general direction. Or maybe even buy one. 800 gold to buy a builder. I mean, that's less than three turns worth of our income. Which is the city with the advisor? That gives us plus one build. That was Liang. Yeah, this one. So let's just buy a builder in Argos. Alright, sure. That way he will have four builds as opposed to three. Works for me. Next. We can still attack. Alright, next. You want to trade? Sure. I don't mind trading. Hold on, let's remove all of this real quick. We don't need ivory, we have our own. We can sell some luxuries. How much gold would she give us? Oh, not a lot. Well, never mind then. Now we back up. With the builder. Obviously. Back you go. Alright then. So, we can finish off that guy. He has like one health right now, literally. And let's destroy that encampment. Might as well. We don't have anything better to do while we wait for more units. So that's what we're going to do! So, Olundi, we got a builder. What do we need in here? Medieval walls, 13 turns? Let's get medieval walls, just in case. I'll feel safer having medieval walls over here. And same in Pokrovka, we'll get medieval walls, that's fine. So, the builder should go to our newest city. Bactri. Next. And once we finish the Ballon, I think we'll get the Aerodrome district. Our capital will probably be the best city for that. We have one tile for it already. But first, the Observation Ballon. That will come in handy against Persia, for sure. Merge these. Here you go. That's an army now. It's going down. Next. Corinth. Armory. Archaeological museum. That is actually not a bad idea. Let's get a museum. Works for me. And you? Right. A farm. And a farm. And we got one more use of this guy. Probably best if we buy the ship and get a pasture over there. I think so. So let's finish off that encampment. And we can just pillage it. And we can attack the city, I suppose. Again, we don't really have anything better to do, to be honest. So that's what we're going to do. Meanwhile, a few more units wouldn't hurt. Let's see, we got a builder. Field cannon is 10 turns. We still need bombards. Okay, 12 turns for a bombard. That's acceptable. No more units protecting the city. Oh, and the trade route. Not Persia, obviously. We could send it to Alexander, especially now that it's immune. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. It's a lot of gold. Might as well do it. So, one more. Actually, no, we were going to buy the ship. Here you go. And that's going to be a pasture. You need to heal up. Ha! 
How's our research? Three turns to finish chemistry. Okay, then. That will give us 80 crew. So now, pillage the encampment. Oh no, we don't actually have to do that. Right, we just need to take the actual city. Alright, no problem. Just watch the musket man's health. Obviously. It won't take long to take the city. Let's move in. Like so. Alright, stay fortified. And there's our observation balloon. That will definitely come in handy. And next up, about that aerodrome. Only four turns to build it. We'll build it right here, on that tile. Here you go! Campos 14 turns? No. Let's actually grab a factory. We could certainly use one in here. If we really want to speed it up, we could chop the forest. But I'd rather just use that forest for a lumber mill. For long term production. Remove the marsh. And that's the last use on that one builder. What do you want? She thinks we're a warmonger. Hey, you attacked us first! I'm not the warmonger, you are the warmonger. Oh hey, the city state got a builder for us. How nice of them. Appreciated, we can always use more builders. So let's take down the fortification. That should be just about enough. Yep, it's gone. And the city will be ours on the next turn. And we got a great person. Nice. Okay. Well, let's attach this to a bombard or something. Here you go. And we can remove the jungle. Here's the writer. Where can we actually pop him? Over here. Alright then. Chemistry is almost done. Chemists do not use There it is. What can we research next? Let's see. We can always get printing and siege tactics. Well, siege tactics and military service, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Economics. Port stock exchange. Economics and then replaceable parts. We still need to own free musket men, but that's not a problem at all. We can do that. In fact, let's maybe work on that, shall we? Sounds like a plan. So, musket men, eight turns. And another musket man, eight turns. That will do the trick. Dreams, dream. We have a third one already, over here. So, that will be enough for the boost. Let's take care of this city real quick. It's already ours. Pretty much. Bye bye. Here, another city to our collection. Obviously keeping it. And first, walls. Might want to speed that up a little bit if we can. Well, I suppose we could just buy walls. That sounds like a better idea. Wait, hold on, can we actually do that? No, not really. Well, alright, we'll just build walls in that case. Here. We can buy a water mill. We can buy a workshop, but that's a little bit too much gold for my taste. Water mill will do. And more production. It's not a whole lot of production, but it will have to do. And how about we get an encampment here? That will definitely come in handy against Persia. So that's what I'm thinking. Oh, their city is losing loyalty. That's pretty funny. Rebellion in 12 turns. That's actually kind of hilarious. Maybe we can speed it up a little if we move one of our governors. Let's have a look. Who's not needed in their current location? 
We can move Liang. To speed up the encampment. Yeah? I think I'm going to do that, actually. So let's reassign Liang to back three. Here you go, that's plus 28. And I could actually send the spy to Tarsus to make it lose loyalty faster. It's not entirely necessary, but I'm just saying that is an option. You can do that if you want to get the city to flip faster. So, one more build. We'll grab a lumber mill. Here you go. Not interested. Not anymore, sorry. Oh, he improved the loyalty a little bit. Alright, fair enough. I wasn't really counting on that city flipping. But it's funny to see that he's actually losing loyalty. Alright, our capital. Hungar, obviously. Like some magic. Can we do anything with that military engineer yet? Uh, no, not really. Okay, never mind. We'll keep him anyway. Now we just need to wait for some bombards to create armies. All right. Come out. And I guess that's it. Now it's mostly a question of how long we want to wait before declaring war. We could already win this war quite easily. But it might not be a bad idea to get some basic defenses around Corinth, for example. Not a horseman, I can't upgrade the horseman yet. Just something better, like a bombard, a musketman. Just something that will protect the city if they decide to attack it. And they might. We don't have a pretty long border with Persia. And another great person, that's a great engineer. Oh, nice, he will boost the wonder construction. Okay. Which wonders are actually available? Well, we will still unlock some useful wonders. I'm going to keep him for now. What's next? Oh, right, research labs. We should definitely get those. It will take a while, but we need them. Factory. And there's our spy. We can steal tech boost, we can steal money. 84%. Okay, 84%. It's fine. We are saving the governor, uh, I mean, the engineer for now. Shame I can't plant forests yet. Alright, farm. Oh yeah, and this was the bombard for merging. Here you go. And a lumber mill. Horror if medieval you wars? Five turns to finish medieval wars in Pokrovka. If you read the and we got mass media. Do we want to change any policies? Let's have a look. I don't think so. We could replace professional army with something else, I suppose. But I think I'm going to keep that, actually. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. We will be unlocking more units in the near future. So we might as well keep it. Anyway, next up... Probably Armory. Yep, Armory, and we got another Governor title. What do we actually need for our governors? Maybe Sarik can be quite useful. 
promoter plus four amenities. Oh, what about Reina? Tax collector is quite nice. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, we'll take Harbor Master and then Tax Collector. More gold is always a good thing. So it turns to finish ancient walls. Okay then. We got almost 9000 gold right now. It's probably best if we just buy the units that we need for courts and armies to be honest. It will be so much faster to do it like that. Which city actually has an armory? I need to look for them real quick. We had at least one city with an armory somewhere. I just don't remember which one it was. This one, our capital has an armory. So let me check. 285 gold for a horseman. 860 for a musket man, 1000 for a bombard. Alright, let's get a bombard. We definitely still need at least one more. Now we can merge it. Economics yeah, we still need like three more. Hold on, let me check all the bombards. Yeah, this one is almost level five. And it's not even a core yet. Not counting this one. We need like three more bombards. Yep, pretty much. Well, I guess we'll work on it. And by work on it, I mean just buy them. Because why the heck not? Can we fight by anything? No. Uh, wrong city, hold on. That was our capital. So, purchase another bombard. And anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.